graduating with the class of 2020 at UNH. When I first heard the initial news that we wouldn't be coming back to UNH, for at the time it was the first two weeks after spring break, I was actually in class in Horton. That was kind of interesting because everybody got the email at the same time. We could kind of see everyone's reaction from it. So that was kind of interesting to actually be in class with other people uh, when I first heard the news. I never really imagined it would come to this extent that it has come to. I didn't think it would be this intense and this long of uh, an issue. What we had heard from the federal government and all of that stuff is that it wasn't that big of a deal. And so I think everyone kind of took that lead and didn't take it extremely seriously. Uh, and so based off of that, I'm, I I'm surprised that it's gone the way it has and that we're currently in the state we're in. I would say, I guess I was sort of prepared logically, like the understanding of it, like knowing that other schools had done it, that uh, businesses and all these things were closing. So I was, I was prepared for that aspect of it. Uh, I don't know if I was mentally prepared to understand the fact that I wouldn't ever be going back to UNH. Like that kind of hit me differently once I thought about it and I, it simmered and sat with me for a while. I that That's what was interesting, just all of the your, your routines, your classes, all of that stuff, you realize that you never see that routine again. You'd never be able to do that. that. That took a while to sit in with me. So I wouldn't say I was prepared in that aspect of it. Generally, uh, it's of course unfortunate nobody, nobody wanted this, but I feel that if the biggest impact that this whole pandemic has on me. If the thing I have to sacrifice is eight weeks of college and having to stay at home, then I have no way or no right to complain because that is not a big sacrifice. Just being asked to stay home. If that's really the only thing that's going to be impacted from this for me personally, then I can't, I can't complain about that. If there's anything that I wish I could have done during my time in Durham that I won't be able to do now, uh, I wouldn't have changed anything that I have done, but I guess looking at the stuff that I'm not gonna be able to do, like uh, just being able to properly say goodbye to school as a whole, and also my friends. Like there's a lot of people that I might never see again, ever. Uh, and there's a lot of people that I won't see for a while, at least in person. Uh, so just just that is being able to have those proper endings because it, it's a it's the closing of a chapter and you'd like to be able to have that that cl official closure to it not have it end the way it is that's kind of that's kind of tough it's just to be able to to not know that you were at the end when you were